from the towering earthen mounds of Cahoya, which once rivaled the great cities of Europe, to the mystic remnants of lands or meadows touched by Viking footsteps. North America's ancient cities whispered tales of times long past. Today we journey through two millennia of architectural marvels and dazzling societies that once thrived on this very soil. If you love ancient cities, and let's be honest, who doesn't? I suggest you stick around for the part where we'll uncover mysteries about this image. Hit that subscribe button as we uncover 20 ancient cities that once ruled North America. Number 1. Cahokia, Mississippian culture All right, history buffs, heard of New York? Meet its ancient cousin, Cahokia, near today St. Louis. It heralds the Mississippian culture from 800 to 1400 AD. Dubbed North America's first city, it boasted plazas, palisades and 100 plus mounds. The massive monks' mounds stand tall, hinting at its one bustling streets, trade hubs and spiritual centers. At its zenith, its population size rivaled European cities, making it vibrant center of ancient American civilization. Each mound and artifacts whispered tales from bygone era, narrating dreams, dramas and destinies. Cahokia isn't just ancient debris, it's a timeless dance of shadows and stories. Number 2. Poverty Point Poverty Point Culture Welcome to Poverty Point, where ancient folks way back between 1730 and 1350 BC decided circular was the new black. Six ridges in a semi-elliptical design talk about vintage real estate. Poverty Point speaks of an age far more advanced than one might initially think. The Piece de Resistance, the bird mound, an expansive 70-acre effigy suggesting significant ceremonial or spiritual importance. Each mound, each artifact whispered tales from a time before written history. Poverty Point remained one of North America's most intriguing prehistoric puzzles. And it is time for what on earth is on our thumbnail image. This image we obviously found on the internet and shows how one mighty Aztec city of Tenochtitlan looked like. This Aztec marvel had more canals than Venice and was the OG of city planning. Number 3. Alonso Meadows, Norse Settlement Ever thought the Vikings just pillaged and sported epic beards? Think again, Lonesome Meadows up chilly Newfoundland proves they also fancied a bit of transatlantic travel. Unlike most ancient North American sites, this one hints at Norse seafarers, likely Vikings, who journeyed across the frigid Atlantic around 1000 AD. Recognized as the earliest European settlement in North America, this site stands as a testament to the adventurous spirit of the Norse explorers. Excavations have revealed turf walled buildings resembling those found in contemporary Norse Greenland and Iceland. The artifacts, including iron ship rivets and bronze cloak pin, further cement its Norse origins. Lonzo Meadows offer a fascinating glimpse into a brief encounter between Europe and North America, centuries before Columbus. Number 4. Chaco Canyon – Ancestral Puebloans Venture into the heart of New Mexico and uncover Chaco Canyon, the breathtaking epicenter of ancestral Puebloans. Imagine a realm where stone structures touch the sky and kivas hide stories of the cosmos. From 850 to 1250 AD, Chaco wasn't just place, it was the universe for its inhabitants. The star of the show, Pueblo Bonito, an architectural masterpiece, a testament to ancient society's genius. 
This wasn't just a settlement, it was Celestial Observatory, a bustling city and a nexus of roads connecting a vast realm. Dive deep and Chaco stones might just whisper the secrets of a civilization that danced with the stars. Number 5. Venta – Olmec Civilization Immerse yourself in the lush tropical lowlands of Tabasco, Mexico, and you'll stumble upon the remnants of La Venta, an ancient Olmec heartland. Active between 1200 and 400 BC, La Venta is peppered with colossal stone heads, mysterious altars and intricate mosaics, each a testimony to the Olmecs, often dubbed as the Mesoamerica's first civilization. The grandeur of La Venta is perhaps best exemplified by Great Pyramid, an early monumental structure predating even the Grand Pyramids of Teotihuan. This center was more than mere stones and earth, it was a vibrant hub of art, spirituality and politics, giving us a rare peek into a rich tapestry of ancient Olmec life. Number 6. Mesa Verde – Ancestral Pueblons Nestled in the rugged landscapes of Colorado, Mesa Verde stands as an architectural masterpiece of ancestral Pueblons. They transformed sheer cliffs into living sanctuaries. The cliff palettes are breathtaking feet, both over 150 intricately designed rooms. Who needs a penthouse when you have that? Forget modern condos with a view, these guys had the ultimate rockside residence. Though the time has weathered the stones and stories of Mesa Verde, within these stone walls lie tales of people deeply connected to the land, shaping an inhospitable environment into a thriving civilization. Number 7. Gran Quivira Lost amidst New Mexico's rugged terrains lie the ruins of Gran Quivira, a city once thrived under the Salinas Pueblo missions. Established in the 1300s, Gran Quivira showcases the confluence of indigenous Pueblo cultures and Spanish colonial influences. The site stands as a testament to a harmonious coexistence, featuring Puebloan structures and Spanish mission churches constructed using traditional masonry techniques. Its evocative ruins, including the San Bonaventura Church and numerous kivas ceremonial rooms, speak of community rich in faith and tradition. As winds whisper secrets of the past, Gran Quivira beckons, offering a peek into a fusion of two worlds, long before the concept became even modern. Number 8. Hopewell Culture National Historic Park in the heart of Ohio lies a testament to a society that thrived over 2000 years ago, the Hopewell culture. The Hopewell tradition, spanning from 200 BC to 500 AD, was marked by its intricate earthworks and mounds. These weren't random piles of dirt, but carefully crafted geometric forms, revealing a civilization with a sophisticated understanding of geometry, astronomy and ceremony. From circles to squares, these shapes had distinct ceremonial purposes, intertwined with the rhythms of the stars and planets. The very landscape of the park whispered tales of advanced culture that saw beauty and meaning in the earth and skies, crafting a legacy that endures millennia later. Number 9. Moundville, Mississippian Culture Welcome to the Moundville, Alabama. No, it's not a theme park, but it's close enough if you are a history nerd. Flourishing between 11th and 14th centuries, Moundville stands as a beacon of the Mississippian culture. Spanning 320 acres, this archaeological site is dotted with over 29 earthen mounds, once the foundation of important structures from temples to elite residences. The Mississippians, with their elaborate social hierarchy and spiritual beliefs, created Moundville as a reflection of their cosmos on Earth. 
every mount, path and artifact found here resonates with intricate cosmology. Gazing over this vast landscape, one can't help but feel profound connection to a civilization that brilliantly brought heaven and earth together in harmony. Number 10. Etowa Indian Mounds Etowa Indian Mound in what is now Georgia stand as a testament to the brilliance and artistic flair of the Mississippian culture. Across its 54-acre site, the three prominent mounds rise like an ancient skyscrapers, with the largest reaching an astounding 63 feet. What's mesmerizing about the Toa is the treasure trove of artifacts uncovered. Ceremonial stone statues, ornate copper plates and carved shells, all depicting ritual, chiefs and mythological beings. These artifacts paint a vivid picture of society deeply spiritual and connected with nature. Number 11. Spiro Mounds, Mississippian Culture Nestled within the picturesque plains of Oklahoma, the Spiro Mounds are a desolate remnant of Mississippian culture. But this wasn't just any old settlement, it was the epicenter of fast trade network and spiritual ceremonies. These mounds, particularly the impressive Craig Mound, have unveiled a cornucopia of rare artifacts. From intricate conch shell engravings to ceremonial maces, to fancy conch shell engravings that make your grandma's porcelain collection look like child's play. The Spiro Mounds are a testament to a culture that celebrated artistry, spirituality and social connection, reminding us of diverse tapestry of societies that once graced North America. Number 12. Bandelier National Monument – Ancestral Puebloans Tucked amidst the mesmerizing cliffs and canyons of New Mexico, the Bandelier National Monument beckons travelers with its timeless beauty. This ancient site was home to the ancestral Puebloans. These folks carved out home in volcanic cliffs, making us wonder if their daily chores included don't fall off the cliff, with ladders connecting multi-story cave rooms, it's like the ancient version of a multi-level apartment, minus the pesky elevator music. The remnants of their grand ceremonial kivas and pueblos sprawl across canyon floor, hinting at vibrant community life. Bandelier isn't just rocks and relics, it's a testament to human adaptability, creativity and connection with nature. It's as if these very cliffs whisper tales of bygone era, echoing the footsteps of Puebloans, who once called this magical place home. Number 13. Kin Kletso. In the vast landscape of Chaco Canyon, New Mexico, stands Kin Kletso, a testament to the innovative spirit of ancestral Puebloans. Meaning Yellow House in Navajo language, Kin Kletso showcases the architectural brilliance of people who lived over a millennium ago. This multi-story great house, with its distinctive D-shaped layouts, boasts over 55 rooms and several kivas. What's particularly intriguing is its construction style, core and veneer masonry, where finely shaped stones are placed around a rubble core. Every corner of King Kletso whispered tales of ceremonies, community gatherings and astronomical alignments. As the sun casts long shadows across its stone walls, it's easy to imagine ancient Puebloans looking up the same stars, seeking to understand their place in the vast cosmos. Number 14. Effigy Mounds National Monument Nestled along the Mississippi River in Iowa lies the Effigy Mounds National Monument, a collection of over 200 prehistoric mounds shaped like animals. Constructed during the Woodland Period between 1000 BCE and 1300 CE, these mounds represent more than mere dirt piles. They are believed to be sacred spaces, where the indigenous people connected with nature, ancestor and spirit world. The most famous mounds are those shaped like bears and birds, embodying the harmony between land and sky. As you walk these ancient trails, each mound tells a silent story, intertwining spirituality, culture and mysteries of the cosmos. 
It's a place where the past is etched, not just in history books, but in the very fabric of the earth. Number 15. Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park, Mississippian Culture Deep in the heart of Georgia, the Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park unfolds a saga of ancient civilization. The mounds here echo over 17,000 years of Native American history, from Ice Age hunters to the Mississippian culture builders. The park's crowning jewel is the Great Temple Mound, towering 56 feet high and offering panoramic view of the surrounding landscape. This park is a tapestry of history, spiritualism and engineering prowess. To wander Okmulji is to walk alongside spirits of millennia past, feeling the thrum of ancient life underfoot. Number 16. Casa Grande Ruins – Hohokam Culture Arizona's desert landscape holds a secret, the Casa Grande ruins. Casa Grande translates to big house, but this isn't just any old abode. This four-story structure, built by the Hohokam culture around 14th century, stands as a testament to early architectural prowess and desert innovation. The ruins are surrounded by the vestiges of once vibrant community, with ball courts and intricate irrigation systems pointing to a society that harnessed the scarce resources of the desert to thrive. The enigmatic big house has puzzled scholars for years. Was it a residential place, an astronomical observatory or a communal center? One thing is certain, Casa Grande Ruins is a mesmerizing window into the past, a monument to human resilience and creativity. Number 17. Snake Town – Hohokam Culture Hidden away in Arizona's Gila River Valley, the remnants of Snake Town weave tales of Hohokam people. Established around 300 BC, this settlement thrived for over a millennium. At its peak was an influential trade and ceremonial center. Although the exact reason for the name Snake Town remains a mystery, the site's discovery do not. Excavations have unearthed evidence of advanced irrigation systems, pottery, shelter, jewelry and even ball courts. Interestingly, Snake Town wasn't continuously occupied, it had periods of abandonment and re-establishment. Today, while much of the site has been reburied to preserve it, the spirit of Snake Town lingers, a testament to a civilization that flourished amidst the desert challenges. Number 18. Toltec Mounds – Plume Bayou Culture Venture into Arkansas's wetlands, and you will encounter the remnants of Toltec Mounds, an architectural marvel of the Plum Bioculture. Erected between 650 and 1050 AD, this site boasts one of the most significant mound complexes in the Lower Mississippi Valley, originally featuring 18 mounds. The highest, Mount A, towers at 49 feet. But these mounds weren't mere piles of earth. They were precisely aligned with the movements of the sun, moon and stars, hinting at deep astronomical knowledge. Beyond celestial alignments, artifacts reveal a people skilled in pottery, tool-making and trade. The Toltec Mounds remain a silent witness to a society that seamlessly blends spirituality, science and artistry in the heart of America. Number 19. Creel Mound – Adena Culture West Virginia holds a quiet secret. The Creel Mound, a legacy of Adena culture. Standing at about 35 feet high, this mound might appear simple, but beneath its surface lies tales of ancient rituals, ceremonies and community deeply connected to the land. Constructed around 250 and 150 BC, it's a testament to the Adena people's dedication to their spiritual practices. Excavation revealed the presence of a central burial, surrounded by layers of logs and encased clay. The careful and intricate burial methods suggest a society with profound beliefs about the afterlife. Today, as one gazes upon Creel Mounds, it evokes a sense of wonder, a bridge to a time when every mound was chapter in culture's enduring story. 
And finally, number 20, Astalan State Park, Mississippian culture. Tucked away in Wisconsin is the archaeological wonder of Astalan State Park. This site, once home to the Mississippian culture, buzzed with life between 10th and 13th centuries. Here you'll find earthen mounds that were once part of a fortified village, telling tales of a society skilled in both defense and urban planning. Evidence of stockades and platforms paints a picture of a community prepared to protect its own. Beyond these structures, findings of a Mississippian pottery intertwined with local Wisconsin artifacts highlight a nexus of trade and cultural exchange. Astalan stands as a northern outpost of the Grand Mississippian tradition, reminding us that history is rich, interwoven, and waiting to be discovered in every corner of our continent. And there you have it! We've roamed ancient cities without even needing a passport or a time machine, who said history was just dusty books and old dudes in togas. If you chuckled, smiled, or even did an eyebrow raise of intrigue, drop a thumbs up or an ancient artifact. No, wait, keep those in the museum. Till next time, keep it ancient and slightly quirky.